<laughs> so, a 13 second winner with an average of 13.041 in a 2012 Ram 1500, equipped with Nittos, from Duluth, Georgia, Ryan Walton. Yeah, man. Yay! I love him. Yeah, man, yeah, get it, ball, get it. This is, this is absolutely stupid and insane, guys. Storm is a fat pig, right? So today, Storm ran a 1280 today. Um, in the first initial run, um, so we took that 1280 and we said, okay, it's going too fast. We're trying to slow it down to go 13s, just like my sons. We're trying to do both cars. Chuck and the car, we're trying to run 13s in. So they're fighting each other, they're battling, and it's like right there, guys. So on Storm, we needed to go up two numbers. So we added in the back on this last pass that Storm just did, we put the tailgate back on the truck. We added two full-size tires in the back uh, seat in the floor. And the truck, what did it run, Ryan? 13.14. So it ran a 13.1, putting all that crap in the truck. And with his two passes we got in right now, he's still too fast, so we have to slow the truck down some more. Plus it's cooling off, so now we're fighting even better conditions of trying to go faster. So this is what we resorted to, guys. Look at this. This is just stupid. We have three, count them, three full-size tires in the back. We have two, count them, not one, but two full-size three-ton steel, not aluminum jacks, that are heavy as hell in this truck right now to try to slow it down another two numbers so that we can get on that 13-0. So uh, wish us luck, guys. I want somebody in this group right now to win something, so I really hope one of them pulls it off. And maybe we can win. That's loud. And maybe we can make a miracle happen with Frostbite or something, but at least we're making licks down the track again, guys. So stay tuned. three passes and we average them and quickest to the solid numbers 15 second 14 second 13 all the way down to 8.5 and then eight second and then we have a winner 
and a runner-up. Um, once you guys come up and you have to speak, just like I invited all our sponsors to come up, they know the program. If you win, you come on up. No speaky, no checky. Um, those checks will then go to me, which I will put on the bar. We're going to the run uh, rail house uh, up in Aberdeen. I'll put it on the bar and we'll have a ton of drinks on whoever doesn't want to talk. Um, when you come up, we're going to give you a nice plaque. Uh, we're going to give you a pay card, which means you won money. You will take that pay card and you can go to the registration trailer either tonight or tomorrow and they will give you a check if you fill out your Uncle Sam 1099. Um, also, we have our winner circle. Our winner circle is located in the staging lanes. Uh, you can go up there, they have some refreshments, beer, soda, water and such. We also have a photographer there. They give you a check to hold up and they take pictures. You don't get to keep the big check, but uh, they'll write your name on it and you can uh, take a picture and hold it for uh, eternal time. Um, if you don't want to go to the Winter Circle tomorrow, you can also go tomorrow. Uh, tonight, you can go tomorrow. Uh, the Winter Circle will probably be set up sometime around noon tomorrow. Um, feel free tonight or tomorrow. Um, yeah, I said all that. And, all right, uh, the Quick Eight. How the Quick Eight works is we take the quickest eight passes, not averages. It's just a single pass but you had to complete all three runs. So if you had whatever, an 850 pass, a 910, and a 930, we would go with that 850 pass. Uh, we will put you on a ladder, and t what time tomorrow morning, Josh? N noon? Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, the gates open at 8 o'clock, 8.30 tomorrow, so normally we try to do it about 9.30. We bring everybody up into the staging lanes, we take some pictures, we, uh, we'll tell you what's going on, we'll have a ladder promulgated. Uh, I will take the quickest eight racers and then I will take two alternates, just in case somebody doesn't show up or can't make it. Um, if you come up and you're an alternate and you don't get to race for the Eliminator, I will give you a fun run. Fun runs are fun. Um, you can go down the track, just don't oil my racetrack down. If you oil my racetrack down, I become upset. <laughs> but we will still let you make the uh, the fun run. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Got to talk, check, pay cards, uh, and we'll start. Uh, Bryce, I did the math while we were talking here, so you ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. We have one person that's ready, so now <laughs> we're gonna go. Um, we did not have any 15 or 14 second winners, so I Damn. don't have to use those plaques. So we're gonna start with you. I can take no. it! I can take it! We save them and we uh, put them somewhere around the track. And uh, if you find one, you get to keep it. <laughs> it's like an Easter egg hunt. So, a 13 second winner with an average of 13.041 in a 2012 Ram 1500 equipped with Nittos from Duluth, Georgia, Ryan Walton. Yeah, man. I love him. Yeah, get it, get it, Bob, get it. Well, thank y'all. This is my second year t attending this event and my first win. So I appreciate the hey. hospitality. It's been fun. It's me. Knock, knock. So uh, you got uh, you got my money? You win 50% of the time. You got to talk more. You got to thank somebody. Uh, <laughs> I felt like I was on a spaceship. And... Uh, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Well, we're real happy with um, with what was going on. And uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, you gotta be happy. I mean, I, I think my uh, buddy and his son helped me work on my truck. Uh, that's about it. Wife, girlfriend? Good. Wise man, no offense. <laughs>